Hi, today is uh, September 9, 2014, and uh, earlier today, about six hours ago, well right now about seven hours ago, I was with a friend and I was working on his property, and uh, I was uh, using my circular saw, and uh, I'm normally right-handed, but for some reason I was cutting this, this thin piece of, like a three inch piece of wood by one inch and trying to get like a like a half inch and um, I wasn't holding the, the piece of wood properly and he, well uh, let's just say I'm happy to say that I didn't lose my finger and at one point I was thinking oh no how much of my finger came off but I'm going to show you how I'm going to heal it and uh, I'm going to show you the method I use and uh, you're going to see. Now this cut needs stitches for sure. Definitely needs stitches. It might need about three or four stitches. But I'm going to try and I'm not going to try and do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to heal it without the stitches, without going to the hospital. Because it's the same thing. I'm going to go there. They're going to give me stitches, and uh, I have to protect my hand for like three, four weeks, whatever, until the stitches get better, and he makes the the the, the cut heal. So it's the same darn thing, but I'm going to use it my way, but I don't have to go to the hospital and wait around for uh, 7 or 10 or 15 hours here, and I can how it is in Canada. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes it's, it's very slow in the hospitals. So I'm going to do it here, and I'm going to show you my method of doing it. And uh, I'm going to go over here to the sink and show it to you, what I've done, and how it works, and the whole system here. And what you can do for yourself also so and we have now I'm going to take uh, over here and show you the bandage I have on myself here so no before I do that I'm going to show you this now I'm going to explain to you what happened today when when I cut myself with the with the circular saw I immediately, you know, we were in the cottage, you see, in the country, so there was no fresh water built there. The, all the water's turned off, right? So I had nothing to clean my wound with. So what I did is I, I, I went inside and I got a, a glass and I peed inside the glass. I urinated inside the glass and I walked around with my finger in a glass kind of like this all day and it was filled with urine, you see? So it's to the top. So my finger was submersed in urine for like three hours which was very good because it helped cleanse it. So when I came home six hours later, I uh, got the finger cots and I peed inside a glass again. And I got a finger, uh, not a finger, I got a uh, eyedropper. And I took the eyedropper with several eyedroppers full of urine. I put the finger cot. Do you know what a finger cot is? It's these things here. They call them finger covers, finger cots, but it's basically like with this picture here. You see the picture? It's like a little condom for the finger. If you have a cut, it keeps the cut clean and dry. And that's how they look. They look like little condoms, actually. And when they're on the finger, well, I have one here. This is the one I put on a couple of hours ago. And yes, it's red inside. That's blood. Like I said, this thing needs stitches, you see, and it's got bubbles in there. So what you do is take the, you take the eyedropper and you put the urine directly inside. Now this is full, this one. I'm going to have to come over here and show you. This is a very full, this is my third attempt at doing this. I keep making mistakes. <laughs> so this thing is very full. But this is a very fresh wound, you know, and I figure it's going to get healed pretty quick. So you go like that, and yeah, blood's coming out now. It's, it's, it's too full of liquid. But I'll give it a little a shot more. And you go like that, and you inject it in there. Yeah, it's not going, it's too full. Some went in, see that much? A little bit. So, if you look inside the sink, you can see blood that came out. From my from my finger cot, the, the liquid is full of blood. I should actually change it and put a new one on. No, I, I'll have to take fresher urine. I don't have to pee right now, so I'll do this later. I'll change the bandage before I go to bed, 
and you sleep with this overnight you see you sleep with this you don't put any liquid any ointment you don't put any cream or medicine I put only my urine that's that's the best medicine you can use hang on Sorry, I'm just looking at all the blood in the sink there. It's grossing me out. So now I'm going to dry this off here. Just to... Uh, I have to put the uh, the other thing on my hand. There's a lot of blood around here. It's very full, this bandage. It's a little too full. I should take some out. Just so I don't have to have so much in there. Because... See, look how much, see how much came out? See? It's the real deal, people. That's a cut. That's a big cut. I want to rinse away the, to the blood in the sink. Okay, we got blood everywhere here. There's blood all over the faucet. My gosh, what a bloody mess. I offer my own stupidity, you know? I, I don't know why I did that. I should. I know better. I, I know better. I don't know why I, I did that. I should have... I'm just happy that I pulled away in time, you know? I could have lost my finger today. And I'm, I'm a musician. If you check out my other videos, I'm a musician. I'm a guitar player. And actually, about three years ago, I was, on, I was on my bicycle and I had an accident and I cut my other hand, my left hand and I participated in a contest to write the, the next national anthem for the hockey league because uh, they lost the contract for the old Hockey Night in Canada theme and they were asking people to submit their, their songs so I tried and I had to play with my left hand with a big uh, gash in it and there's no scar, no nothing, it was very... Lucky, so I'm going to apply this back on now, which is just a regular restaurant napkin, over the the spot where the finger caught ends, because that's where the liquid comes out sometimes, right? So I'm going to put this on like that, and wrap it around, like this. And I take the elastic, and I just secure it on around the uh, napkin, so it doesn't fall off because if the napkin falls into place that means that the the liquid if I should move uh, the wrong way in my sleep or whatever you know the liquid will come out of the finger caught and it's full of blood I'll have that on my sheets and everything you see so like this it minimizes the chances of that happening and I have to sleep on my back well I normally sleep on, on my back anyway so I sleep on my back and uh, I have this elevated Somewhat, it's throbbing right now like crazy, but uh, it's gonna it's gonna be okay. By tomorrow, a couple of days, it'll be fine. I think in about a week, this should, seven days, this thing should be pretty well healed up. I'm sure, maybe longer, but uh, I'm thinking, I'm hoping, I'm 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 thinking it's gonna be fast, a, a quick heal, even though it needs stitches. It's gonna be it's gonna be a quick uh, heal. I'm pretty sure of it because I did this before with the other finger, and the other finger was pretty well damaged. Uh, but it's all healed up now, no problem. So, okay, so I'm gonna show you tomorrow morning when I take off this, this bandage here. And uh, I'm probably gonna apply another one, or I should apply some bandages and just keep it bandaged for the daytime and at nighttime, put the, uh, that's what I did last time. Last time I had the injury, I uh, put the urine in the, in the finger cot only at nighttime, I slept with it, and in the morning I put bandages really tightly on my hand, really, really tight. I put bandages so tightly on my, uh, on my, I tried to, to, to glue the skin back together and in some way it helped, you know, it kept the finger clean. Okay, so uh, I'm going to turn off the, the camera now and say goodnight. It's, uh, what time is it now? It's, uh, oh, it's 11.15. It's, uh, I should be in bed. Okay, so goodnight.